we had the existing Tuolumne Bridge and now the bridge is completely uh, removed and now they're making way for the new uh, for the new bridge so on the other side um, they are starting to do the the foundation work and getting ready for the bent caps for the bents and starting to uh, pour the columns so you'll start seeing the columns up uh, pretty shortly this bridge we are looking at November but just you know the the um, the demo work actually went a lot quicker and so we could potentially see the bridge complete prior to November. So we have, uh, you know, we started at the Fresno Trench, so near Belmont and Thorn, and so they're starting uh, to do some of that foundation work, uh, prepare for, for that trench work. As we are working uh, closely with Caltrans, what you may start seeing is traffic will need to be redirected, uh, reconfigured uh, on 180. Uh, so we can start building uh, that portion of the of the trench. Driving along State Route 99 and near Cedar Avenue, you'll start seeing drilling going on as well, preparing for that foundation. That is, you know, one of uh, the longest viaducts uh, on the project. And one of the other things that you'll start seeing is they have started to mobilize near the uh, uh, San Joaquin River Bridge. So you'll be able to see some of that. They started clearing and grubbing, and uh, you'll start seeing more heavy equipment move into that area. Area, probably within the next couple of weeks. You know, there'll be the, the new uh, on-ramp from Clinton, and they're also going to be uh, rebuilding that, I guess that's that structure that goes underneath uh, State Route 99 to get to Olive Avenue, because that's going to be part of the detour work. So they're preparing for the Clinton closure. They started pouring the actual superstructure, so the actual structure itself, and they'll be pouring that for the rest of the week. They have a couple of columns uh, left to also pour, and then they'll continue uh, building out uh, that superstructure.